The three reasons Noom won't work for you are ones where when the excitement of starting Noom is high, you can ignore. But then after the free trial is over and you're paying $40 to $60 month after month, it become impossible to ignore and can doom your success with Noom. Let's get started with reason one. If you've searched Noom reviews, you've seen many good reviews about Noom's coaching, like this one praising their coaches by name, and many bad reviews about their coaching, like this one calling the coaches robots and unhelpful. How can the coaches be both helpful and unhelpful? What's happening is people need different levels of personalized support. Think of a support spectrum where on one end is pure DIY. That is, you're literally going to figure out everything yourself. While on the other end is a highly personalized coach who attunes all their coaching to your very specific, very individual situation. Noom lies around the center of the spectrum. Let me explain. A proper weight loss loop consists of three phases. First is observation. You need to observe your current behavior to identify your bottleneck. For example, you may be someone who eats in larger portions than is desired, who finds it hard to not eat what others are eating in a social situation, and you have to keep snacks at home for your family, which you often end up munching on mindlessly after dinner. These are three separate problems, but only one of them is your bottleneck at this point in time. For example, if we did an analysis of what contributes most to your weight gain, we may find that the larger portions contribute 30% and not more, thanks to you being aware of how much you serve yourself, social situations 10% because you only go out with friends once a week, while the remaining 60% is contributed by the mindless snacking after dinner. So your focus should only be on addressing post-dinner snacking. That's your bottleneck. Neck. Then comes planning. In my earlier example, I'd ask, why do I snack so much after dinner? What benefit does it provide? And the answer could be because it makes me feel relaxed. Great. Then I can ask myself, what else could I eat or do that would make me feel relaxed? And perhaps my answer would be drinking fizzy water and some air pop popcorn because it reminds me of the relaxed state I'm in when I'm watching a movie in a theater. Awesome. Now I have a plan to keep my air pop popcorn and fizzy water handy after dinner. Both foods are low calorie and thus minimize weight gain. And finally comes act. This is where you actually act on your plan of fizzy water and popcorn and collect data on how your plan holds up. For example, you may notice that it works great for a few days, but then you start getting bored. Or maybe it doesn't satisfy you quite like you predicted, or it works perfectly. All of this data leads you back into the observation phase, and this whole cycle repeats over and over again, propelling you closer and closer to becoming the future you at your goal size. The support that Noom provides is content on psychology and nutrition, this is self-study, where you alone figure out the observation and plan phases. An app to track your food, this supports the act and observation phases. You can use it to collect data on yourself. A group of peers to share your journey with, this mainly helps the act phase again, because as you see others continuing to chip away at their goals, you feel motivated to continue as well. And a coach to check in on your targets. A coach is supposed to help you with the observation and plan phases, but as this Noom reviewer correctly figured out, the Noom coach instead mainly helps in the act phase, that is as a form of external accountability. Some Noom coaches may give you tips, but it's nothing like the in-depth thinking that the observation and plan phases require. This makes sense because again, as this reviewer here points out, each coach is handling hundreds of students at once, which makes economic sense because when you divide your $60 per month subscription by four hours of coaching a month, it comes out to $15 an hour, which is far below the market value of a coach. So they make up for it by handling multiple students at once. The drawback of this is a coach doesn't have the time to give you deep guidance, especially for problems that require a lot of back and forth to solve. So the reviews you see of happy clients are ones who haven't felt the need for deep troubleshooting or coaching. They have figured it out themselves with the help of the content Noom provides and their own research. So then the question arises, how do you know if you will need help beyond what Noom provides? As in what lowers your chances of easily figuring it out on your own? There are two main causes. The first is if your body tends to lose weight and inches at dissimilar rates. So for example, if you're someone who loses weight more quickly than inches, what's happening is a larger percentage than necessary of your weight loss is actually lean mass loss, not fat loss. So you end up looking squishy at your goal weight instead of how you picture it. Noom only focuses on weight loss, so it's easy to fall prey to the situation. Now, if your body loses inches more quickly than weight, Noom will appear frustrating because you'd be making progress while feeling you're stuck because the scale hasn't budged. 
Noom tries to avoid the situation by assigning 1200 calories to a lot of women, even ones who find they can make progress on far higher calories like in this review. This deeper deficit optimizes for weight loss even if your body is of the type to show progress in inches lost more than weight lost, but it creates two problems. One, because muscle needs more energy to maintain than fat, when your body is short on calories like in a deep deficit, it prefers losing muscle over fat. And since muscle weighs more than fat, you will see rapid weight loss, but it's not fat loss. As a result, you'll get to your goal weight and not be happy with the results in the mirror. Second, the unnecessarily deep deficit leads to burnout and regain. The sudden drop in amount you're eating causes your body to think there is a famine and it better protect your remaining fat stores in case you need them for energy. So it actively fights you by upping your cravings and hunger. This creates a tense tug of war with your body which results in burnout about two to three months in. And then you regain your lost weight and return to square one. Now, of course, there are people who lose weight and inches at similar rates or 1200 calories isn't a deep deficit for their size, in which case Case, Noom works well because what they're seeing on the scale is actual fat loss. Anecdotally speaking, about one in three people tend to have this type of body type. But if you're not the one in three, you may need more personalized coaching that Noom provides to make sense of what's happening with your body and how to react to it. And the last reason you may need more personalized support that Noom provides has to do with the degree of mindset work you need. For example, there are reviews like this which express love for Noom's traffic light system of rating foods. But then there are also the opposite reviews which express frustration with it. What's happening is while Noom's content preaches correctly to break out of an all or nothing mindset, their traffic light approach can trigger the very same all or nothing mindset as you feel the urge to eliminate all reds altogether. This is a catch 20 do, where on one hand, you know which mindsets to change thanks to their content, but then their very systems trigger those undesirable mindsets. Furthermore, if you have deeper mindset barriers to overcome, such as self-sabotage, like when things are going well, you inexplicably stop doing the things that are working, or if deep down you doubt you can actually achieve your goal because you think your body is broken, then a lack of in-depth coaching in the observation and plan phases in Noom will block your progress eventually. So if you answered yes to your body type, typically losing weight and inches at dissimilar rates or having observed the mindset barriers I mentioned earlier, then Noom may not be designed to support you beyond the first one to two months. You have two options at this point. If you know you want in-depth coaching in the observation and plan phases, then my Badass Body Boss program may be a fit for you. You can self-evaluate by checking out the free sneak peek to it linked in the description and comments below. Or if you're unsure what kind of support you need, check out this video, which lays all the weight loss solutions out there on a spectrum of support, personal personalization and cost so you can find your sweet spot of solutions that fit your needs. And always remember, you can do it.